what's up everyone welcome back to another gta online casino dlc video my name is saints fan and today we're talking a little bit more about the casino so we all know yesterday rockstar came out and dropped the official teaser trailer if you want to call it that it was a little eight second clip that they put on their twitter that literally just showed the logo at least that's what we are assuming is going to be the new dlc logo but one thing that sort of caught my eye and caught a bunch of people's eye was the wording. If we take a look at that tweet, it says opening soon a luxury casino in the heart of Vinewood. And obviously we sort of mentioned the luxury part. That's definitely an interesting word they threw in there. But that's not the part we're looking at. The part we're looking at is the, the end part in the heart of vinewood well if we go ahead and take a look at what vinewood is like the area you can see here this is all of vinewood and now this could just be them making it sound fancy or something but the heart of something usually means it's like the middle and if we're looking at this picture the casino it definitely is not in the heart of vinewood at least that's not what many people would think is the heart of vinewood because it's over there on the far right sort of upper side and the reason this got people sort of speculating obviously because we don't know much so this is all we can do is speculate but what people were speculating and what i kind of think could happen will it happen maybe maybe not but it is a possibility we get some sort of underground casinos in various locations and maybe they're just putting the props in front of the casino to sort of throw us off the trail so to speak and they did take the opening soon sign down so you know maybe that means the actual casino building is not opening soon but we're going to be getting underground casinos in various locations in the heart of vinewood now whether or not that is true and again whether or not rockstar sort of just said that to make it sound fancier we're just gonna have we're just gonna have to wait and see probably next thursday when they drop hopefully an official trailer maybe some more information but one other interesting part fun mentioned this so the casino is definitely going to require a loading screen to access not because of glitches but to disable people who live in regions that don't allow gambling from accessing it just like the poker in Red Dead Online, the reason why it takes you to a whole different session when playing it is because the gambling laws in different regions. He thinks there's going to be some sort of entrance fee for people who don't want to lure themselves into a business side of the casino. So that's something that Rockstar's probably going to have to deal with. If it was in Red Dead Online, then I'm sure something similar is going to be in GT Online because I believe countries like belgium and some other ones they don't allow gambling so people in those countries unfortunately unless they have a vpn or something they're not gonna actually be allowed to gamble and in the case of red dead online i believe they they're not even allowed to spectate so there's literally like nothing that they could do apart from using a vpn so because of this i think we can now cross off the list that the casino would work like the strip club where you can just sort of walk straight in from a free roam lobby that's not going to be the case it's going to be probably like the nightclub where there's a obviously there's a door there the little blue icon and then if you own it maybe you can go in for free if you don't you have to pay some sort of charge and if you are one of the people who live in those countries that don't allow gambling maybe there won't be a blue dot if if it, the casino is only for gambling if there is some sort of business part i'm sure that'll be a separate loading screen and you could probably go into there but you wouldn't be able to go into the, the casino gambling area and that would kind of suck obviously but you know there's really nothing that you could do if you live in one of those countries and because of this this does sort of mean that the casino itself could really go anywhere it could be some sort of underground casino if there's going to be some loading screen then you know they don't have to put it in that one building you guys in the comment section can let me know do you think or, or what do you think rockstar meant in their tweet 
by the heart of Vinewood. Do you think that the casino might be moving? Do you think that they just said that to say that? You know, do you think we're going to be getting some underground casinos and other places? It's just, it's interesting wording and wording seems to be very important for Rockstar. <laughs> One final thing before we end the video, and I don't have a, a picture of this or anything, but apparently Fun did tweet out and then he deleted the tweet saying that the DLC he thinks is coming out in July. Now, no one actually knows the release date, so this was speculation on his part, but he, I guess, knows a little bit more than most of us, so his speculation is a little bit more, I guess, important. But I, I figured I'd mention that just in case we don't get the DLC on the 27th, it could be releasing in July sometime, so just keep that in your mind. Hopefully it comes out sooner, but just know it could come out later. I guess it just depends on if Rockstar are fixing, you know, some of the the bugs and stuff that are pop probably in the DLC. They're they're getting it polished, and it just it's just gonna depend on how long that takes. That is it with the video. Thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA Online content, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.